Well, hello, my YouTube family. I am so tired. I know. We just had a three-day weekend. What are you tired about? I don't know. I'm just tired. You know why? Ding, ding, ding. It just hit me. From 4.30 to 5 o'clock, it took 10 hours. And why are people still coming into the office at 5 minutes to 5? Why is that? Um, I want some gloves and some bitch. Don't you get, can you see that I'm not I'm packing up? It was one of those days. It it was the Tuesday. It was the Tuesday that would have been a Monday. And you know how my Mondays go. Yeah, apparently they still go that way, even though it's lessened. But people are still because now we don't open the doors until eight thirty. So they, they've been used to coming in at 8.15, you know, the second somebody's behind the desk, they'll, they'll, they'll already, like, I still have my coat on, but you, you're asking for stuff. I didn't even open my, my computer, but you're asking for stuff. So we've stopped that. Queen of Darkness has stopped that. So coworkers can come in at 8, at, at, you know, earlier than 8.30. Like this morning? I had to knock, 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 knock on the outside because the door was locked, which I get. But people were behind me and they thought that they were just going to bombard in. No, no, no. Boo -boo. Whoever let me in said she can come in, but the, the doors don't officially open until 830. So why is somebody knocking at the door at 820? 820 doesn't sound like 830 to me. So... Can you just take, oh, the doors don't open until 8.30? The sign is right in front of your damn face. Obviously, you're ignorant and you can't read. It's right there. It's, it's... Can you just take this for me? Can you just take the, can you give me, no, I don't give you shit. What part of the doors don't open until 8.30 do you not get? When you go to a bank, and the bank opens at nine o'clock and you're there 855 and you see somebody walking around but they're not going to open the doors until nine o'clock are you going to bang on the door and say can you take this can you just give me a direct deposit no boo boo you're going to have to wait until the bank opens think of us as the bank okay we don't open until we open. 8.30 is the time. So don't go sucking your teeth. You could do, do that until your teeth fall out. I really don't give a rat's ass. I'm going in because I have to clock in. I work here. You technically work in the company, but boo-boo, you're not in the office with us. I have to clock in, and then when 8.30 finally came and the doors opened, a barrage. Now, like I said, I'm only one person. So, soldier, number one, realized that I was getting trampled on, so she decided to help out. I'm glad somebody realizes that the front desk when it gets bombarded, it's not pretty. It's not cute. It's not cute. Because I'm dealing with ignorant island folk. Not so well educated. You know what I mean? Island people who like to talk over each other as if it, she was here first. I'm taking care of her. I'm getting gloves for her. While you're getting gloves, now this is the person behind her. While you're getting gloves, could you get me? Bitch, I'm taking care of her first. You're behind her. Why are you talking over her? So I ignore, I ignore them. And when they realize, oh, look, you could suck your teeth until they rot. It's not your turn. 
I am taking care of one person at a time. I'm not taking care of all of you people lined this way when the line should be this way, especially since we're supposed to be six, six feet apart. Why are you so close together? Why are you so close together? So this is why I'm tired, because the energy has been sucked out of me by these people. And Queen of Darkness, oh, I had to, I had to, I set her straight in a very nice way. Soldier number one brings a package up front to me. This was returned, and she just dumps it and leaves. Now, I'm looking at it. Automatically, I know I didn't package this because it's not my handwriting. No sooner does soldier number one escape, here comes Queen of Darkness calling me. Um, soldier number one just left a package up front. It has to be repackaged, Nancy. I said, I didn't package this. Because when she starts with the Nancy... That automatically, you know, it gives, it's supposed to, you fucked up, Nancy. No, 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 boo-boo. That's not my handwriting. I don't know who packaged that. So I had to nip it in the bud before she started. Uh, could you um, redo the package? I said, yes, but who, who originally did it? Because this is not my handwriting. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter now. Now it doesn't matter. Had it been me. Oh, it would have mattered much. It would have mattered a whole hell of a lot. But when I set you straight and I tell you that's not my handwriting, I did not package that, maybe you should get on the person who did package it. Do you not know who packaged this? Because I sure as hell didn't. So I kind of nipped it before she got carried away that's not me I know my handwriting that is not me I didn't package it who packaged it oh it doesn't matter. oh it doesn't matter now now it doesn't matter I'm good no I'm good I'm good so let us do lips of the day, shall we? We are going to start off with the liner. NYX in edge pink. Uh, line. And filled. NYX intense butter gloss in the shade pink macaroon. Honey, I was all in pink in detail. Mm-hmm. Pink macaroon. Intense butter gloss. Pink macaroon. It does tend to be a little intense, so I had to kind of tone it down a little. I lined my lips heavily with the edge pink and then filled in and like that until it toned down just a little because it can get quite intense and I don't feel like being intense right now so that is pink macaroon and of course it's an NYX butter gloss nothing negative to say about the butter glosses as we all know I love me a good butter gloss so that is it. That is all, people. Um, there is nothing else to talk about. There's nothing because everything is in repeat now. There's nothing. There's no more Real Housewives of Atlanta. God only knows when Real Housewives of Potomac is going to start. Um, I guess we have to wait until Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and Real Housewives of New York. Those are the only two right now. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, I am so glad today is over. Two down and three more to go. Yeah. 
today was a little it was a little heavy and I am feeling every ounce of it on my back my neck I'm just feeling it today I don't know why I didn't do jack shit yesterday I did manage to watch um the invent the Avengers Infinity Wars I thought I saw it before I did not I am so lost with the you know the way that the movies are going like the last Marvel movie I saw it was either Spider-Man Homecoming or Ant-Man. Did Spider-Man Homecoming come after Ant-Man? All I know is there is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Didn't see it, but apparently it falls into the category of the storyline. Now they're they're all they're all deteriorating into dust. Those of you who watch Marvel, who are Marvel fans, and are following the storyline of the Avengers, because I want to watch the Avengers Endgame. That's the one I really wanted to watch on Netflix, but apparently it didn't come out on Netflix yet. So I had to check to see which ones I had seen already, and the last one was I, this one before Endgame, which was Infinity War. But I must be missing something because why can't Bruce Bruce Banner become Hulk? Like he's really trying to be the Hulk, but he can't be. So I'm missing a storyline because I don't know what happened. I'm too old for this shit, but yet the, the kid in me, the, the teenager in me, the early 20s, early 30s, when I used to watch these movies with my then boyfriend, I, I haven't let go of that. So, you know, you can't, you can't lead me to a storyline and just because we broke up or whatever, I'm not going to continue on. So, it's like the whole Lord of the Rings thing. Like, my ex and I broke up on after the third one. All I know is, when the Hobbit came out, the Hobbit movies came out, I went to see them by myself. Because, now mind you, he's the one that got me hooked onto this whole Lord of the Rings thing. And I loved it so much that I don't mind seeing, you know, I, I, I didn't mind completing the whole series, which, by the way, I have on DVD, uh, the whole series. So now, you know, I'm stuck on these Marvel movies, and I have to complete the storyline by myself because, and the thing is, my ex, he was like that with the whole storyline. Like, even if I asked him on Facebook, He'll explain it to me, but it's not really the same, you know? Either way, I have to finish the storyline. I have a feeling I'm missing something. Because the one before Infinity Wars was, the, the last one that I saw was Silver Soldier, Soldier something, where Tony Stark was enemies with Captain America, like they were fighting against each other. That was the last one I saw. Now, I know there had to be a few in between there that I think I missed. But I did see Ant-Man because that was a summer, a couple of summers ago, where my cousins, now they, they, they're supposed to take me out for my birthday, so I'm supposed to choose the movie that I want to see. But I was uh, bombarded because the two of them, wanted to see Ant-Man, and I did not really want to. I'm kind of glad that I did, though, because I did not realize it was a storyline. I did not realize Ant-Man was part of the Marvel Universe. I know I sound so stupid right now. <laughs> I sound absolutely ridiculous, because I'm listening to myself. I'm listening to myself talk about these movies as if I'm like a teenager or a 20-something-year-old who is all into these Marvel movies, 
I am going to be 56 in two months. But the kid in me refuses to grow up. So, therefore, that's the whole reasoning. Anyway, yesterday I watched Infinity Wars. And at the end of the movie, everybody was deteriorating. And I don't know what comes after this now. So if anybody can hook me up and let me know if I'm missing something in between before and what comes after, please fill me in. I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Enough Marvel talk. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to max and relax. What I really need to do, what's really killing me right about now, is my bra. Ooh, I am quite uncomfortable right now. So I need to set the sisters free because they are screaming bloody murder. Okay, well, I know that's a little TMI, but you're my family, so who cares? On that note, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Let me know everything that you can. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully. Okay? Hopefully. I love you. Mwah. Bye now.